Hello guys and gals. Today we are going to keep on working with lines. So what about landscapes? How about first we try to remember what we did last week? What do you remember? What is line? Line is a dot on a walk and line can be many things. Think of some examples. What kind of lines did we use for last week? What did we draw? We drew ourselves. So now we know we can use line to draw ourselves, but how about what else we can use line for? What about landscapes? What is that? A landscape is basically land. So landscape art is a representation of natural scenery like mountains, valleys, trees, rivers, or forests, and are usually in a wide view. It's usually lumped together with things like cityscapes, like skylines, or seascapes, like beaches or oceans. So let's look at a couple of famous works. Here we have Van Gogh's Starry Night and Hokusai's The Great Wave of Kanagawa. You've probably seen these before somewhere. So let's look closer. What kind of lines do we see in Starry Night? Do we see swirly lines? How about curvy? There are horizontal and vertical and some long lines and some short lines. And what kind of lines do we see in the Great Wave? Lots of wavy lines. Some short curly lines. And if you look really closely, some straight lines too. So how about we try to draw our own landscape with line? You're gonna follow along with Mrs. Delgado as she draws. So first off, what materials do you need? Remember, use whatever you have. You can draw on paper with markers, crowns, or colored pencils, or you can draw on seesaw. Go ahead and get those materials together and then move on to the next part of the video. You should now have your materials ready paper and markers, crowns, or colored pencils, or you should have Seesaw open so you can follow along. Get ready to work those art muscles. So here's the landscape we're going to draw our own of. Follow along with Mrs. Delgado as she draws and remember, Pause the video whenever you need to catch up. So let's start with the water. Draw two wavy lines across the bottom of your paper. Next, draw some squiggly lines with straight lines in the middle for the trees that are closer. Then, draw a horizontal line across. Then, draw a jagged zigzag line across for the trees in the background. Then, 
Next, draw some curved wiggly lines on either side of your paper for the mountains. Finally, add a big curve for the sun in the back. When you're done, it should look something like this. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Move on to the next part of the videos whenever you're ready. Your drawing should look something like this. If you need to go back to the previous video to finish your drawing, do that now. But now, we're going to fill in each part of our landscape with different kinds of lines. So you're going to add in different sort of lines to each part of your landscape. Vertical, horizontal, zigzag, curvy, swirly, thick or thin whatever kind of lines you want. Watch Mrs. Delgado fill in hers. So first, I'm going to start filling in the grass on either side of the water with short little lines, kind of like dashes. Make sure to pause the video if you need to. Next, I'm going to add swirling circles lines for the water, like ripples. Next, I'm going to fill in the closer trees with little squiggly lines. Then I'm going to fill in the trees in the back with the jagged V's. Then I'm filling in my mountains with wavy lines. I'm going to fill in my sky with big swirling lines. Finally, I'm going to fill in the sun with curving lines. Make sure you fill in your whole picture. When you're done, it should look something like this. See how all the parts are filled with different kinds of lines and they create neat textures throughout the landscape. Now, if you want to, you can even add your portrait from last week on top of it. Or if you have an old photo to cut out, you can glue it on top. And it looks like you're traveling somewhere far away. Great job. Now don't forget to add a picture of your drawing and turn it into Seesaw. And as always, stay safe and stay positive.